Hey guys. Hello. Whisker. Huh? Where did our Tuesday and Friday videos go? Um, well, we blacked out for Tuesday and uh, there was no Friday video because Toymaker Television is now a weekly show that comes out on Wednesday. Oh, I see. So what does that mean? Well, it means that we're going to have uh, a little bit more time during the week to uh, focus on making our projects uh, significantly more polished. Awesome. So bigger and better projects. Yeah. Okay. Because a lot of things we have to do in the near future are actually kind of really big and better. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. So we, we get a little bit more time to dedicate to those. Yeah, well, I'm going to need to. RoboJib is going to be crazy. Ooh, yes. Anyway, uh, uh, for this first ever uh, uh, weekly edition of uh, Toymaker Television, mm -hmm. uh, we've got a project uh, that uh, we spent some time this week actually polishing off and f uh, going from start to finish all at once. Correct. So John S uh, underscore AZ sent me a box of awesome project goodies uh, a while back, actually, and... One of the chips that he sent me was the LM338T power regulator. Um, and it's this cute little chip that looks kind of like a big old transistor. Um, but what it essentially does is it makes it so that you can have uh, varying outputs, uh, varying voltages output from a power supply, such as this. So we decided to make a cigar box, a uh, guitar, not a cigar box, guitar. <laughs> we do those too, but no. Uh, a, cigar, a cigar box, linear regulated, wait. Variable power supply. Variable power supply. So cigar box, linear regulated power supply. I just call it Churchill. We call it Churchill, yes. Eddie has a, a pile of these uh, matching cigar boxes that uh, she's going to be using to build uh, uh, discrete components for a radio. Mm -hmm. And uh, they all match. So this is the power supply unit for that. Correcto. The Churchill unit. Can you show them the front before we get too in depth there? Sure. So here's Churchill's face. The eyes or the plugs where you put uh, the thing that you need the power to go to. We have a pot here for changing how much voltage we want to come out of this power supply. We have the um, on off switch and the indicator light to let us know whether or not it is on or off. So that's the face. But I think the more interesting stuff, well, I like his face, but the insides are also far, far interesting. So, what we have here, let me get my handy dandy multimeter. Woo! Handy dandy multimeter uh, uh, pointer here. We have the uh, power the cable. AC coming in out of the wall. Yep, which is at 120 or 115 to 120 volts AC, 60 hertz. That goes to the switch. When the switch turns on, then uh, the circuit is connected and that power goes through these two wires, two fuses, and these are 200, uh, 250 milliamp, uh, well, no, wait. Nope, 250 volt um, and one amp fuses. And then from here, from the fuses, it goes into this awesome transformer. And transformers are these neat things that do lots of magic and change uh, 115 volts and 60 hertz worth of AC into 18 volts and 1.5 amps of AC. So then once it leaves the transformer, it goes through those wires to the bridge rectifier. This it's that black boxy thing. Right. Let me see if I can put it. There you go. And we did a DIY bridge rectifier not too long ago. Um, but what this does is it changes the AC current into DC current. So instead of this, it's this. 
And then... That needs to be smoothed, however, when it comes out of there. So there's a really big capacitor right after it. Correct. There. And so any capacitors after this, are pretty mu they pretty much act as smoothing stages and ripple getter ridder of them stages. <laughs> so we have two capacitors here, one significantly larger and one tiny one. And then it goes from there into the LM338 chip right there, which has like a Princess Leia-esque heat spreader around it. And so this chip then um, is controlled by that potentiometer up there and that's what sets the uh, voltage of the, uh, the regulated voltage of the output. Right. Thank you for covering for me. <laughs> and then it goes from there into two more uh, capacitor smoothing stages. And then from there um, it goes to these two power plugs. And to the uh, and to the LED light there, yeah. right. So actually, this LED indicator um, tells us a couple things. It tells us that it's on, but also um, whether or not you're sending more voltage out versus less. I added uh, uh, or, or technically a too large of a resistor in line with that uh, that uh, LED. Mm. So when you turn the voltage down on the regulator. The LED actually dims, so yep. it's a feature, not a bug. It's a feature, not a bug, right? And something that's interesting to note um, for anybody who's working on their first power supply is that uh, when it comes to bridge rectifiers, so uh, these—if I'm going to see, hopefully I can say this correctly—but these uh, transformers are rated at their RMS voltages. So that's root mean square voltages. But once it goes through the bridge rectifier, it the capacitors after the bridge rectifier charge to the peak voltage, not just to the RMS voltage. So what you actually have to do is take this voltage, multiply it by 1.5 once it's come out of the bridge rectifier, and so essentially what you have coming out of the bridge rectifier is 18 times 1.5, which is 27 volts DC. So if you ever need to figure out why you're suddenly getting so much extra voltage past the bridge rectifier, it's because uh, you get peak voltages, you don't just get root mean square voltages. Does that make sense? Good to know. Yeah, I thought so too. All right, we're going to pause here, uh, plug it in, and uh, hook it up to the meter and see what we got. Awesome. Okay, we've got it plugged into the wall. Why don't you fire it up there? Okay. We've got it plugged up to the multimeter, and we see that we have a lovely fly, 5 volts. And I'm going to go ahead and change. And we, go, we can go all the way down to 1.2, and we can go as far up as about 28.5. And if you notice the LED, it decreases with smaller voltages and increases with larger ones. Remember, feature, not bug. <laughs> Excellent job, Eddie. Thank you. Good job to you, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, other than the show being on Wednesdays now, uh, we want to let you guys know that uh, you need to go check out the brand new TYMKRS.com. It's now all HTML5, CSS3. Uh, yeah. A uh, lot of big improvements over there, and it links to a lot of things that we didn't link to before. So yep. make sure you head on over there and check it out. It's beautiful. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for this week. We'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye. Bye. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe. And follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.